Okay, so here I will do a QR factorization using the householder transformation. Okay, so let's say I have the following matrix. And so my goal is to find an upper triangle matrix. So where there are zeros below the diagonal. Okay. So my vector u. Uh, so first let's tr let's find my first householder transformation. Which should be given by the identity matrix minus q times v v transpose. Okay. Uh, and v will be equal to a vector u divided by its length. Okay, so v is a unit vector. And so u will be given by the first column vector of a. So a1 minus its length times e1. Okay, so this will be. 2 to 1 minus the length of a, a1, which is uh, the square root of 2 squared plus 2 squared plus 1 squared, so the square root of 9, so it will be 3 times the unit vector e1, okay, and so this will be minus 1, 2, 1, okay, and so v. Will be, will be u divided by its length, so it will be uh, 1 over, so the length will be 2 squared plus negative 1 squared plus 1 squared, uh, the square root of that, so it will be the square root of 6 times negative 1, 2, 1, okay? And so we can already calculate v, v transpose. Uh, it will be 1 over 6 times negative 1 to 1 times negative. Okay, so it will be 1 over 6 times 1, negative 2, negative 1, negative 2, 4, 2, negative 1, 2, 1. Okay, so my first householder transformation will be given by the identity matrix minus 2 times VV transpose, so it will be minus one third. So let's already write the identity matrix. P1, 0, 0. Minus a third, okay, minus two times this thing, but we, uh, VV transpose is one over six, so it will give us one, minus one third times this matrix. So maybe we can copy that. Okay. And so we will get Um, two third, two third, one third, two third, one third, negative one third. Negative two third Okay. Uh should be uh Okay, I think this is correct. Now if we apply it to A 
we'll get that thing. Let's do some more play. Okay. Times or matrix A. And so if we multiply that out, we should get um, 4 thirds plus 4 thirds plus 1 third, 9 thirds or just 3, 0 and 0, okay, as expected. Then. Uh, eight third negative four thirds one third okay then a third eight thirds negative one third and and four thirds okay okay now we will only consider this sub matrix okay and so uh Um, this will be a 2 prime, okay? It will be the second column vector, but I say prime because we only consider the vector that is in the submatrix, okay? So our vector u will be this uh, a vector a 2 prime, so the vector in the submatrix, minus its length times e2 okay so it will be negative 4 over 3 1 third minus uh, 17 over 9 times 0 1 0 uh, okay um now I see just that we uh, uh, we, we here we can write uh, e one and so we are in two dimensions again sorry uh, uh, that, that we are in the same dimensions okay so it doesn't change anything uh, we let me, we may call that uh, a e one prime maybe okay so it's a vector in two dimensions okay. And so we get the following. So we get negative twenty nine over nine and one third. Okay. And so, uh, the length of that will be uh, the square root of negative 29 over 9 squared or um, so 841 over 81 plus um, 
one ninth. Okay. R square root of eight hundred and fifty over eighty one. Okay. So that will be the norm. So V will be given by one over that thing. The square root of eight hundred and fifty over T one. Or we can even distribute the square the square root and take the denominator on the top. So we will get the square root of eighty one over the square root of eight hundred and fifty and times the vector u so negative twenty nine over nine and a third, okay? And so um V V transpose will be given by eighty one over eight hundred and fifty times so it will be negative twenty nine over nine a third and The following, so it will be eighty one eight hundred and fifty times eight hundred and forty one over eighty one negative twenty nine over twenty seven. Negative twenty nine over twenty seven and one over nine. Okay, and so our second householder transformation H two prime. I say prime because you only consider the sub matrix for the moment to be the identity matrix in two dimensions minus two times the thing. Um, so um, here that can be written as two times four hundred twenty five okay and so the two will cancel with the negative two if we subtract okay so we will be left with eighty one over four hundred and twenty five times uh, okay so if we rearrange that we get negative 416 over Four hundred and twenty five two thousand three hundred and forty nine over Okay, so it becomes really messy, and so H two will be uh, we will add a one in the diagonals and zero in the same columns and row. Here we will put H two prime. Okay, so that we are able to multiply with uh, uh, our result of before. Uh, here that we can call A2 okay and so if we uh, multiply that uh, we 
we should get you should get the following okay uh, so I didn't calculate it, these two values because it becomes really messy but um, you can do it if you want uh, and so that would be your upper triangle matrix okay and so as expected you got a zero here and you have two zeros here okay um, and now to find Q remember that uh, A equals QR and Q transpose A equals R and so that Q transpose would be equal to H2 H1 Okay, uh, because you applied them to A to get uh, R. And so Q would be equal to H1 transpose H2 transpose. Okay, so it would be uh, H2 H1 transpose. Okay, and so you can find the Q if you want. And uh, that is your R. Okay. So I didn't calculate these two values here because it becomes really messy, but you can do it. And so, yeah, so uh, as always, uh, once you're finished with the first column vector, uh, only consider the sub matrix, okay? And that also is, that's, that also applies for an n by n matrix. Once you're finished with the first column vector, you only consider the n by n minus 1 by n minus 1 sub matrix, and then the n minus 2 by n minus 2 sub matrix, and so on. Okay, and so you can finally find your upper triangle matrix R. Okay, uh, and to get again the same number of dimensions, uh, the same number of, to get the same number of columns as A has rows, uh, once you have calculated your household dot transformation in the sub matrix, you add once in the diagonal and zeros in the same row and column as this one in the diagonal to be able to multiply with a again okay so that's it so thanks for watching